Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Anna, keeping you updated with the weather forecast into the rest of the day today, which is fairly dry for right now, but we will be looking for more potential of rainfall coming our way as we get into the later portions of the day. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you are traveling and you're tuning in just past about, say, 8 o'clock this morning, again, if you haven't tuned in here before for weather overtime clock right there, email address right there, website and seven-day forecast right there there in the left-hand side of your screen. We've got, again, the current conditions a lot better than what they were just about maybe a day or so ago when it comes to precipitation. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Traffic right now, a tanker fire, again, early this morning extinguished with some of that fuel and water spilling down over portions of the roadway at I-240 and Perkins. This is the eastbound lanes right here. Westbound travel was unaffected, but again, if you are traveling eastbound toward Mount Moriah, traffic was backed up to about get well early this morning and is now moving along, but please make certain that if you are traveling in this direction to give the authorities and the cleanup crews a very wide berth, stay to the other side, only two lanes open on the left-hand side of the roadway. So again, please make certain that you are in uh, way from an area that may see again that crowding going on. Please make certain you give all emergency vehicles the right of way. And again, so far looking good conditions out there. We're not seeing any problems. The backup from get well toward Parkins has dissipated. So definitely some good news reporting there for early this morning. All right, that's traffic update. Let's go ahead and get going with what's going on with weather for this morning. Thanks a lot for information uh, that you're providing in the comments section. Let's see where your location is and any weather that you have going on out there, like Matt Musset checking in from Puerto Rico with 82 degrees, a far cry from what we've got in the Mid-South for right now. Thanks a lot to everybody else for checking in. Very good morning to everybody else. And if you've got any weather reports, drop those into the comments section. We'd love to see more about what it looks like there. From our nation's capital. Blue skies going on across the area here, but very cold in and around the D.C. area. Potomac River, Washington Monument, and the Capitol Building back into around portions of the area back toward the East Coast state, so kind of cold in the Beltway. Very cold in Kennebunkport, Maine. Temperature of 6 degrees below zero. A lot of blue skies, just not much warmth out there, and a lot of the snow from that nor'easter sticking around in the area. And if you ever go to Kennebunkport during warmer conditions, Natch, uh, if you head that direction right back there on the Kennebec River. There's a place called the Clam Shack. Great seafood. Trust me on this one. You're going to love that. Great place to go visit, especially during the summer months. My wife's got a few relatives up that direction, so nice to see that right now. 28 degrees. Ricky Lee from Rutherford, North Gibson County. Thanks for checking on in. Evelyn Nicholson from South Haven. Sorry, two-point typeface and bifocals don't work too well together. Uh, 37 degrees in Florida. Yes, Tiffany McCain, very true. Uh, Angel Marie, uh, see, or Angel Marie showing again. Shalimar, Florida, 37 degrees. Very much on the chilly side there. Is it going to rain today? Brittany Deese. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more there. And welcome to everybody else checking in. We've got the clouds on the way for right now. We've got, again, a lot of cloud cover moving in to the area around Heidelberg Elementary from the school drive out front and the flagpole out that direction showing again quiet conditions for Sunday and again back to Germantown for this morning. A lot more cloud cover coming down. Poplar Pike around the railroad tracks, Germantown and the towers of East Memphis with a lot more cloud cover out there. Fortunately, we have some breeze out there. It's still very dry and we've got some wind chills down into the mid-upper 20s for this morning. So we continue to see some fairly chilly numbers out there for right now. A little bit of a sunrise early this morning at Baptist DeSoto Camera in South Haven. And we've got that thin strip of light right there before the rest of the thicker clouds start to make their way on through the area. Good news down the line from that oil spill, that tra uh, tractor trailer back around Perkins. Everything is moving along pretty well. So not much to be able to see at this point in time from I-240 and Perkins. Now, Storm Tracker 3S radar. Not much of anything going on at this time directly in the Mid-South area. We're going to be looking for more rainfall coming our way, but nothing is going on immediately. Later on today, that could be a very different story as we start to see more of the moisture taking place here into parts of Arkansas and northern Missouri. Gray to white is plain snowfall. 
pink to orange and purple is just a little bit of some precipitation. Not done with that yet, thank you very much. Computer getting a little ahead of itself this morning. Apologies on that. We're looking again at some rainfall back into parts of Kansas, and then again, a lot of rain mixed with snow between St. Louis and Kansas City, Missouri. So if you're planning on traveling north today, this is where we're going to be seeing some of the problems. Now, into and around portions of areas, excuse me a second. Hang on, cranky computers always have trouble getting through to this, and there we go. All right. Now, I can have my computer's attention for a second. We've got winter weather advisories in effect in the county shaded in purple here from St. Louis to Kansas City, south of Chicago, most of Indiana, and much of the eastern part of Kentucky and also the eastern third of Tennessee. This is issued, again, for the potential of different types of winter weather. It could be sleet. It could be snow. It could be all different sorts of things. But the main thing to look at here is that it is not here. We're not seeing anything going on in the way of advisories for the Mid-South. Now, northern portions of the viewing area, like we showed you just a little while ago, right down into around northern parts of areas close to around northeast Arkansas, might see some snow coming down, and maybe if it's cold enough to get some accumulation there, but beyond that, we're just not really seeing much of anything directly for the Mid-South area. So we've got some fairly quiet conditions for right now. But if you're up around, say, uh, Jonesboro, west of there toward about Cherokee Springs, Mammoth Springs, even up to around Koshkanong in Missouri, we may see, again, a lot more snow showers in the hill country here more than anything else. And doubt we're going to be seeing much of anything going on directly into the Mid-South area. Wind chill advisories in effect well to our east for this morning, so a lot colder conditions there. Not quite so chilly in the Mid-South as we have temperatures back into the mid-30s. Winds occasionally breezy, so we do have some wind chills out there that are going to be causing a bit of a concern for early on. But these are going to be the best news for right now because those southeasterly winds are going to be keeping the temperatures up throughout the rest of the day today. Now, chances for rain mixed with snow, greatest again right up around portions of northeastern Arkansas, well to the northwest of the News Channel 3 viewing area, and that also includes into around portions of southeast Missouri. That's going to be the main possibility of anything involving frozen precip coming on down. But notice these temperatures. As those winds come out of the southeast, it's not going to be a major warm-up, but it is going to be just enough to give us some temperatures above freezing, which is exactly what we need to keep this precipitation as liquid rainfall. So it's going to be a cold rain, but it's not going to be anything involving huge amounts of rainfall, no flash flooding, no severe weather, and from what it looks like, the chances of anything mixed with rain or snow back to the north of us, that's where that's going to be staying throughout the course of the rest of the day. Now the rainfall should be moving into the Mid-South right past about lunchtime into the metro area into this afternoon, West Tennessee, Northwest Mississippi. If you're in Corinth, Kossuth, Bolivar, Savannah, Jackson, Tennessee, you're going to be seeing the rain last as that snow and rain combo several thousand feet up move this direction. And yes, this is probably going to be snow several thousand feet up. It's cold enough right above the surface to keep it as snowfall, but once it gets down closer to the ground, these are the temperatures that it runs into. So you might see a sleet pellet again around northwest Tennessee, northeast Arkansas mixed in with all that rainfall, but that's going to be the exception to the rule. That's the main thing to think about. Rain is going to be the main problem from this afternoon right on in through about dinner time tonight and also into and around the area of early tomorrow morning. So we see, again, the potential for more possible problems in the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day tomorrow. Tune in for coverage into and around the area uh, for Daybreak tomorrow. Corey will have updates on traffic, and Todd Demers will have more coming up on Daybreak for his forecast as well. Uh, Sheila Hadley Avant, Avant uh, yes, that has been discussed greatly with my wife and her teacher colleagues about what they call the snow bagel, about how the snow seems to fall everywhere directly directly, but here, and believe me, I know about that effect, so thank you very much on that. Good morning to everybody else for checking in this morning. Rose McGinnis from Mobile, Alabama, thank you very much. Bartlett's still cold. Rain begins at 2 p.m., give or take. Rita Ellett Anton, thank you very much on that. Crenshaw, Mississippi, Teresa Vaughn, thanks for checking in. And 28 degrees, Rebecca Bagwell from Maynard, Arkansas, thank you very much 
uh, for checking in there. Kevin Jolly, 34 degrees from Mansfield, Arkansas. Thanks for checking in. And Campbell, Ohio, zero degrees. Wow, heat wave. Monica Russell, thanks for checking in for this morning. Rest of the day tomorrow, again, more rain in the morning. The temperatures remain above freezing throughout the rest of the day. Computer running a little low on the temperatures. I think we're going to be in the mid-40s at least by the time we hit the afternoon. This is running a little bit too cold for right now. And the chances of rain really start to dwindle as we go into the rest of the evening so that by early Tuesday morning, most of the rainfall should be basically on out of here. Seven-day forecast looks like this. Again, 40s as we go into the rest of the day today. The numbers you saw in the computer models that we just featured on the maps, I think, are running way too cold for right now. So mid-40s, especially with those southeasterly breezes, keeping the temperatures up by just a bit. That continues into Monday. 50s by Tuesday, we get rid of the rainfall chances. 60s by Wednesday and Thursday. We'll combine that with a few chances of rainfall. Not great chances, but still possible. And again, much nicer here. Now, as that chance of rain moves out, colder air moves in, mixing that with the moisture could cause as that moisture leaves the area some rain mixed with snow changing over to all snow but I'm really not seeing anything that says this is going to be a major system or a need for the snow shovel and no snowman building contest either so sorry about that kids. Now if this changes over the next several days keep it tuned to News Channel 3 we'll keep you updated on that. Chilly from Friday into the weekend warming up as we head toward the holiday next Monday but good news for the Martin Luther King Jr volunteer squads going on for a day on for service instead of a day off. Things are going to be looking a lot better out there than what they were a few days ago. So a little chilly but dry for the day of volunteering out across the Mid-South. So looking very good again for that out there. So good news for again the volunteer groups and anybody else who wants to go out and help make the Mid-South a better place out there. Suffolk, Virginia three degrees from Talese Nesmith. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Roger E. Lally. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Lally, if that's right, minus 10 in Somerset, Pennsylvania for this morning. And thanks to everybody else for checking in. 35 degrees in Tampa. Wayman Ken, say hello to my wife's aunt and uncle uh, over your direction as well. And thanks to everybody else for checking in for this morning. And again, for the rest of the forecast, again, just chances of rain, maybe some snow by about Friday, and that's going to be about it. Check in with my forecast coming up on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. That'll be throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. Thanks to Jacqueline Stafford, a great view of frozen areas of Tiptonville, Tennessee, around Real Foot Lake. Great opportunity to see what the cold air really does across portions of the Mid-South area. And if you've got pictures like this, we would like to see them, so take it and send them to me at aonic underscore WREG3 on my main Facebook page, search Austin Onic WREG, or on Instagram, aonic no underscore necessary WREG3. We'd love to show your pictures around when it comes to weather in the Mid-South, but we can't show them if you don't send them. You kind of see the connection problem there. So if you've got pictures, if you're in the Mid-South, great. If you're out of the Mid-South, send them in anyway. We'll forward them along. We'd love to see them, but we can't show them again. You get the general idea. So please let us know a little bit more about what you would like to show on there. Show off your photographic skills, and we'd love to show that. I can't show my own pictures all the time. That would be selfish, so you get to have a turn as well, and we'd love to have more about that on there as we get into the rest of the forecast and the rest of the next couple of days. We'd love to see more about what you have to offer. Now, coming up in about 10 minutes or so at about 8.30, somewhere in there, our full weather overtime segment. This is sort of the briefing for right now. We'll take a look at whether where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, relatives serving in the United States military, we'll show you more about what's going on with weather overseas and, more importantly, how you can get that information on your computer system. So tune in at the bottom of the hour, about 8.30 or so, for weather overtime on my Facebook page. And again, you can reach that through the various locations that you saw here. And again, that's facebook.com slash austinonic wr. We'll check in with more forecast information coming up in just a bit and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 tonight at 5.30 and also at News Channel 3 at 10 or available again at our main website, wreg.com slash weather. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend.